You know, the technical difficulties in our opening today made the Kennedy assassination look like a well-organized affair, if you ask me. Uh, this is Click This, the Kevin Nash podcast. So was that a, was you, are you trying to bait me? We spoke during the week and I watched a very compelling thesis on the Kennedy assassination on Prime. I wish Which I, re- I think we first started laughing at, right? When you started telling me about it yes. and the crew, it kind of sounded like an outland. Because we've been talking about this for how many years, right? The Kennedy thing. How it's, crazy do you have to get now to get well, coverage? Exactly. Like, how many how many angles? Uh, it, at this point, the kill shot came from an alien spacecraft would be like, okay, well, Precisely. that's new. I haven't heard that. So, I, well, I'm going to see if I can get in and out of this as as, as soon as possible. So it starts off, and they go into a tape from the... uh, Would this be a a documentary you watched? Yeah, it was a documentary. On? The the Kennedy assassination on Prime. On Prime, okay. I don't remember what the name of it was. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. And if you scroll far enough down that documentary, you start getting those fucking, like, shot on VHS by... Vijay Gupta. I actually got one of them that was, that, uh, it was a Kennedy assassination. It's a documentary actually filmed by John Wilkes Booth. Fetic man yes. he was. With, with, the, with the correlations with Booth and uh, Oswald and Kennedy and, and Lincoln. Exactly. But uh, if we go back to we have a, 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 a tape, and it's basically, it's no, no bullshit, man. This guy is he's involved in the organized crime industry. And he is saying on the tape, they are going to fucking kill Kennedy. We are going to fuck. It's not, we're going to get him. It's, we are going to kill Kennedy. So this was like a bug that they planted that they got him? What, or was it an interview with? It's a fucking, I just, they just, while the, they, they show like the, the, I think they showed the picture of the guy they were talking to. Mm-hmm. And then they show like the, the, Re, like the reel to reel thing, like moving down, and, and it's got the. Okay, uh, so it was like, probably like a, caught, like, like a, on an FBI bug or something. Like a, they've got the closed captions to you know, read along with it. Was that it by any chance? That one that just popped up? X, JFK X, solving the crime of the century? It looks like starring a little, what's his name from Succession practically in that photo. Uh, if that, it, it, I know that the, the hypothesis. Uh, this is the, 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 the kind of the expert is a special effects person. So maybe if you Google special effects squib JFK, uh, you'll get it. So anyway, he says that if you watch it now, I will, I will take the place of, of John Kennedy, even knowing how this ends, but does it? So th- they they show the Zabruder film, and the original one is really grainy. And back in the day, I think it was Kodak that was filmed on. They had like indoor and outdoor film, and I think he actually had like indoor film, so it was actually not even like the proper film that he should have had to, to film this. One of the things on the Zabruder film that I've never noticed before is as the car comes and goes behind the and where it's lost behind the traffic sign, mm-hmm. the fucking framing drops, and the fucking car like you know is much like it's almost like sh- like shoulder height. So let's just watch this back here so we can. And watch when it goes behind the thing. Watch, watch the framing change. Boom, and see what way it'll go. Right, see, like, see up there, there. So, so that pole acts like a wipe. Yeah, across. that's where they cut frames out of the actual Zabruder film. So it comes. See how it changes. You can visibly see that that car drops. That you'll see it. It'll come and then. Boom. See it? Right there. I mean, it drops. So he's holding his, you know. And that's and on the impact. Before the kill shot, 
you'll see him put a fucking, I think, a, like bring his hand to his head, and then he, that's where they say he puts a squib. And then he puts it down, and then Jackie fucking's got the wire, and she fucking does the gizmo, and boom. I don't know. Is it is it deterioration of the film, possibly? So what they're saying is, this is the theory. Okay. Very Siegfried and Roy, the, the Lincoln was tricked out to have a concealed compartment behind the, the seats that where Kennedy and, and uh, Jackie are, and that Officer Tippett was his nickname on the Dallas police force was JFK because he looked like the president. And him being, like, there's several uh, sightings of the killing of Tippett. One of them is a five foot ten, short, ruddy, complected, like somebody that looks nothing like Oswald. Mm-hmm. So he walks up and he shoots him in the face. He shoots Tippett in the face, and then as Tippett's laying there, shoots him in the back of the head, which pretty much would even up to what happens. You know, if you got hit with a bullet here. They got hit in the back, boom, and mm-hmm. kind of mimic that. So they, they get Tippett's body and they put it, in, you know, put it in a suit to match the president's. And he's, so I don't know if the CIA it just whacks a fucking cop. I don't know what the fuck, you know, because there, there's a lot of gray matter in this. You just kind of go, I'm just going with it. I'm 40 minutes in. So uh, they do the fucking swerve derv. And what it is is fucking this, like nobody fucking saw Swibs in fucking, you know, 63. So Swib would have fucking, you know. And so they, you know, when they take off, there's no Secret Service in the vehicle. And the Secret Service doesn't follow the car. The car goes to Parkland. Right. And, and then they make that, they, so they, that's where they would have made, the, you know, make the change. Because that would have been a Squib and not an actual headshot. And then when they pulled Tippett in from the back, because they were saying, and they have, I think, an expert, like, if somebody had that massive of a head wound, Mm -hmm. and then also the amount of blood would have been way more than, like, everybody in that car would have been covered with brain matter and, you know, Mm-hmm. blood and then when you see the back of the car and it's photographed there's basically like an arch in the back of the car it's like it almost looks like if you pulled a body out of the back and let it left it there and pulled up to the park and that, that, that that's how much blood came out of it I don't, you know right so that was the so, and then, so how then did you, you feel have, at the end of it how did, did you feel like it was well, they, 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 you, you don't exp- <clears throat> excuse me. You don't explain to me what the fuck Kennedy did. When he waited for for fucking Elvis to die, and then they both ran a fucking McDonald's in Kalamazoo. Like, what the like? It's not exactly like like what? what where did you know? So they JFK put this theory had, up. With- well, yeah, JFK had kids. Like you never, I think. Right. Like they're gonna kill me. Like. What? Before I went through all that shit, I'd fucking, I, I would have just said, all right, because Johnson takes the presidency anyway, so why mm-hmm. not just say, man, I got too much fucking heat, I'm going to get fucking whacked. Yeah. In Dallas. It's it's clever, but. Not plausible. Yeah. It's one of those deals where you're just like, it got over with, and I went, wow, man, this will never. Then they showed a picture of of, of, of of Trump, and Trump wanted to, you know, it was during his presidency when the documents were supposed to be we're supposed given to get some to more the, documents. To, yeah, yeah, given to the public, and Trump was, I mean, he was like, fuck it, like, this is the, you know, it's supposed to be done, and they fucking basically said no. 
mm-hmm. our the American society, our, our culture is not ready to. Which makes you wonder what is in there that what, I'm ready for. So, yeah, you can't have a document come out that says our country was in any way responsible for the assassination of one of our own presidents because and there's a, what it you know, would do. A, yeah. There's a really compelling one that's done by my buddy Adam Rodriguez that did the Magic Mics with me. Um, he he turned me on to it. And it's a, it's like a British cold case guy. And it's the po- hypothesis is when they took off, like the, the first shot, went, you know, went in Kennedy, and then the second shot missed, and then they took off. And as they took off, the Secret Service guy that was standing in the car, the Lincoln behind the, the president's, jerked. And when he did, his M16 fired. And that was with the fucking round. Because if you've ever seen the, the uh, pictures of the autopsy, the it's it's definitely a full metal jacket through and through with the wound in the upper back to where the skull wound shows... The, the hole is small, but like if, if it was an M16, it tumbles and you see through, a, through the x-ray of the brain, you see fragmentation of bone, which that's what it would do. It basically would explode. And as it tumbled and gathered speed, it would, that's what it, it would do is it would rip the, mm-hmm. you know. Could, and so where expl- was this, where was the rifle? Where was he? He was in the Secret Service car behind the. Okay. So then when they took, after, I mean, the president definitely got hit. So Oswald's first shot was money. The second one fucking hit nothing. And then the, the crazy thing about it all is, so it's, I want to think, I want to say it's less than 20 fucking minutes after Kennedy's been shot and the, the bulletin comes out and the bulletin is that the president has been shot by a 30 caliber rifle. They have not found the gun in the book depository yet. A news agency reported the caliber. No, of- it's the police bulletin. Oh, oh, that the, was the, sent the, out to the, yeah, to it, the it's, okay. it's no, it was sent out to the police. Oh, to the police from like, we're looking for, it's the Dallas dispatcher telling the cops what the lowdown is, and they haven't found the gun yet, and it's a thirty caliber. That's pretty crazy. That's fucking, yeah, I mean, it's just every time you watch one of these fucking things, there's another fucking tidbit of shit where you go, well, that's, re- you know, that's redacted on, <laughs> on some fucking piece of paper somewhere, you know, but... Well, just recently, I heard the uh, the Secret Service agent that placed the bullet on the on the gurney next to Kennedy, who who admitted to that they did, he'd found the I'm saying bullet, but I mean the, the uh, pristine the the bullet that that went through like seven people and three slugs and right. yeah, but I mean the actual it's the bullet because it's pristine the projectile, right? It's a bullet. Yeah, but it's, there's two parts, right? The, the part that comes out, and then there's the there's the, the shell, the shell, the, right? The shell, and then, and then there's the bullet. The bullet. Oh yeah, he said I didn't know where to do it. I placed it on the gurney. Yeah. It's completely. I don't even know if there's rifling on it. I just love the fact that the Warren Commission, including Gerald Ford, who was part of it, sat down and and, and came up with a report, and they it's just like like everybody was so fucking. Was that the agent Paul Landis, Steve, that said he's the one that found the bullet and just kind of placed it on the on the gurney? Okay. Yep. Well, so, boy, we opened with, with a little history lesson here this week. How about that? You never know what you're going to get here. Well, if you look at it, like one of the, the things were, that really stuck out when this thesis was, was displayed or explained was that J. Edgar Hoover never fucked with a mob, ever. And 
Robert Kennedy fucking like that's when he got it me when he be you know came in that was his you know number one thing was to go after organized crime and then at the same time Kennedy was going to break up the CIA because we were I, I told you I was going to probably bring up some of this shit mm -hmm. and you were saying there's 17 pages that's a document that you've got Mm -hmm. Would you like to go into that, please? Yes, so I can, Steve, if you, easiest way to get this to Steve, for God's sakes, we have 2.0 technology here. I'll email it to you, Steve, and maybe you can bring it up as I describe it. So, yeah, so there's, this was following the Bay of Pigs. I'm researching a project about the Cuban exiles after Castro's taking over the country. Where are yes. we going, Ringo? I'd rather be Harrison. <laughs> he looked very relaxed all the time. Yeah. yeah, so they were powerful people in the White House placing the blame squarely on the CIA, and the proposed result of that was a reorganization. And in regards to Castro, there's documentation in White House memos from Schlesinger about hiring Sam Giancana and the Santo Traficante in getting to Castro. So there was business with the mafia in the White House at that time. So there's that whole angle. Then the, the CIA angle. There's a lot of compelling arguments that can be made for a lot of different theories. The squib angle is new to me. Uh, We're talking 60 years ago. I know. Just unbelievable. But, and, and, and that's what I mean when I say that they will not declassify some stuff still. And... We're 60 years out of it. Most of the people who would have been involved are probably dead, and we still would not be able to handle that if there's culpability. Well, to me, it's one of those things where however your, your opinion is of the 9-11 situation, I just want somebody to explain to me why World Trade Center 7 imploded, and that was the one that had the trillion dollars that disappeared out of it. Now, you know, you sent me that, and I've seen a lot of the proposed things. There's even discussion of the way the building fell, and then you hear architects talk and say, well, high rises were built like that so as not to fall over. No, I'm talking about not World Trade Center. Not oh, North which building South. did you say? I you? said World Trade Center Building 7. Oh, Never where the fucking, basement had... Uh, it had all the... Right, and it okay. just imploded like the dunes. When they, you know, when wind came out there and started blowing up hotels and the putting hotels, up the Bellagio. Yeah. You know, that's that's the one, man, that just like, you know... Uh, let's see a report here from Steve. NIST found no evidence supporting the evidence of a blast event. Is this after they for... found Atta's fucking entire passport? Mohammed Atta. Come on, man. Fuck. Before. <laughs> okay. All right. So I know Official Fingers was listening to us last week, Kevin. He said he was on the way back from a holiday in Poland, back to good old England. Couldn't ask for a better listen for the drive home. Thank Thanks, you, Ma. fingers. 